Why did Rocket Money charge me $60? Intro Hook, have you ever looked at your bank statement and wondered, where did all my money go? I certainly have. And one of the biggest culprits for me was Rocket Money. Context, so, let's dive into the question that brought us here today, why did Rocket Money charge me $60? I'm going to break down exactly what happened, what Rocket Money claims, and whether or not their explanation holds water. Body Personal experience, I've been using Rocket Money for a while now. I love the idea of having one place to manage all my subscriptions and bills. But things took a turn when I noticed an unexpected $60 charge on my statement. Initial investigation, I immediately logged into Rocket Money to see what the charge was for. Their explanation was a bit vague, something about a subscription adjustment. I wasn't satisfied with that, so I decided to dig deeper. Rocket Money's explanation, after some back and forth with their customer support, Rocket Money finally provided a more detailed explanation. They claimed that the charge was due to a service upgrade that I had supposedly opted into. I was pretty sure I hadn't done anything like that. Scrutinizing the terms of service, I went back and reviewed Rocket Money's terms of service. Sure enough, there was a clause that allowed them to make changes to their services and pricing without prior notice. However, I felt like this was a bit unfair. Comparing to other services, I decided to compare Rocket Money's practices to other similar services like Mint and Inab. I found that these services were much more transparent about their pricing and any changes. Dispute and refund, I disputed the charge with my bank. Unfortunately, Rocket Money didn't provide enough evidence to support their claim. As a result, my bank sided with me and issued a refund. Analysis Potential misleading practices, while Rocket Money didn't outright defraud me, their practices could be seen as misleading. The vague explanation and lack of transparency raised red flags. Consumer rights, I want to emphasize the importance of understanding your rights as a consumer. If you feel like a company has charged you unfairly, don't hesitate to dispute the charge and stand up for yourself. Alternatives to Rocket Money, if you're looking for a subscription management tool, there are plenty of other options available. I'll be doing a follow-up video where I'll compare some of the best alternatives to Rocket Money. Conclusion Call to action. If you've had a similar experience with Rocket Money or any other company, please share your story in the comments below. Your experiences can help others make informed decisions. Final thoughts. While I was ultimately able to resolve the issue, it was a frustrating experience. I hope that Rocket Money will take steps to improve their transparency and communication with customers. Closing. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.